Now, former chief of the Office of Citizenship, Alfonso Aguilar. Also with us, Terrell County Sheriff Thaddeus Cleveland. Uh, guys, thank you so much for joining us. So this 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 uh, statistic is startling. Right here in the Big Apple, Mayor Eric Adams revealing that the migrant crisis is costing the city a whopping $4.9 billion a year. Let's take a look at this tweet, breaking down the numbers so perfectly. We're talking about, look at these numbers, 13 million, so 560,000 uh, per hour, uh, over 9,000 per minute, $155 per second. So that means in the time it took me to read you this tweet, New York City spent roughly $2,300 on illegal aliens. I mean, this is absolutely ridiculous, Alfonso. I mean, we don't even have bridges that work. We have potholes everywhere. They're raising our taxes, the homeless, you name it. And yet look how much we're spending on people that are breaking the law to come here. This is crazy. This is the largest immigration wave in the history of our country. Think about it. It's a massive movement of people from all over the world through South America and Central America into our southern border. We've never seen anything like this before. Over 8 million people in a period of three years and a half. Our system was never built, created to receive so many people. So we cannot process them properly. And now we're sending them, sending them all over the country. Our cities and communities don't have the resources to welcome them. They're taking resources away from citizens, from people that live in the cities and communities to use them to receive these people, to provide basic services. And we're not going to be able to provide basic services. Just go, New you're in New York, you're going to see people in the streets, sleeping in the streets. That, that's terrible. It's terrible for the city. It's terrible for the migrants themselves. And then also, when you have this massive movement of people, that facilitates the entry of undesi undesired elements, you know, people in, the, in terrorist lists, people ha that have criminal backgrounds, and the Border Patrol doesn't have the time really to vet them properly. So now we're seeing an increase in undocumented and illegal immigrants committing serious crimes. This is crazy, and it's, it's due to the, this administration's policies, basically sending a message throughout the world that the border is open. Come here, just say that you're going to be, that you're afraid of going back to your home country because you're going to be persecuted, and you can come in. And obviously, I'm all for immigration. I'm a product of, of, of legal immigration. And even President Trump is for legal immigration. What we're right. talking about is unabated. I mean, we, we don't even know who these people are. Like you said, it's right. impossible to vet them. Over 180 countries, they're mostly young men of military age. Sheriff, you obviously know this all too well. Uh, migrant crime, it's increasing. The fake news wants to say it's a myth. This latest story, a suspect has been arrested for shooting and killing a popular tour guide in New Orleans. And surprise, surprise, he's in a legal with a criminal history uh, i mean if only there was a way to address this type of crime right it's right here on the border and this is i mean we have the lake and riley we have the jocelyn nangare uh, we're seeing all of these theft rings here also in, in new york city uh, so not even just a high profile incidents what do you say to people that say you know what the republicans uh president trump they're lying about this whole migrant crime that it's simply a myth hi lydia uh I can tell you that, uh, you know, I've lived a lifetime along our, our border and, and as a resident and as U.S. Border Patrol agent. Um, I've arrested those criminal aliens and I've arrested those that weren't criminals. And uh, look, we're just scratching the surface. We're going to be dealing with what has transpired the last three and a half years for decades to come. It's just like when the Cubans crossed um, during the Mario boat lifts. We're still dealing with some of them today. So, look, it's going to be years to get this cleaned up and uh, it, it, if we ever do. But, but to your, your point, as far as, you know, the border, um, look, they don't stay here at the border. They're, they're going to communities such as those in Ohio, up to New York City. And, and it, also, I have to admit, you know, Governor Abbott, we've spent here in Texas $11 billion ourselves. But thank God we've got a governor that, that sent them to other places that, that actually initially wanted them. Mm. All right, gentlemen, we ought to leave it right there. Alfonso Aguilar and Sheriff Thaddeus Cleveland, thank you, gentlemen. Thank you.